ebo bi igbo mamma nu asim ka nko echiri azelu e di ko sede e gbo nyomo na egenti daroli nne nu omo ife kunu si bo na so la ni ni ya na meni ruwa kwọ no bo sin keta na eastern news 24 e bi abi fine akpo ya evening tea e di kunu si we malu o evening tea kai na akpo ya ya bo basta ma ki ene me no boda and basta ma ka ngoro wa na azo e me ko wo ko de na obu na ya de enyu no update ye na e me ka se be di chiche kunu na oti fe na e me no e o genya aka aya na akodo wa yo fuma ne fa na e me but information is power so ya me raji we na agba mbo wo teru nu ya bo nu kozi ai na akpo evening tea ni ba kwọ e ma di ko si di o wo ye bia from prime minister wo ri kwa ni ru akwọ nu bo sin keta a ma choko nyo bu na bo ibo mo na genti na nu nu na nu asusu na so ge ya bi ife ige si aya e drop all your own contribution your own comment ni ru akwọ ma sama ki yenda ni na bia from prime minister wo all right over to you sir abo e se ka bala tu we were discussing a lot so we coming to the point that i can have something to speak because that is difficult i want to show before i speak to you so now i'm sure what i'm speaking the the second one is that uh, the new government of netherlands is behind us we are a group of we are here we already have too much awareness we already take responsibility on documenting people in holland and also working with parties and different parties So we are waiting for the new party which collaborate with the ideology of Jafram to be able to stand up to be able to reach you so I'm doing anything possible to make sure that uh, my presence will be rich so secondly we are working hard that one and the news that Nigeria should not keep the mass in like an increasing also is official so the sent and I'm pushing them to do something that uh, they have to do so that is the thing i have to inform you about the afrans right i think there's already message is to you you can understand it uh, you're right so that is what i will say i will thank you vam 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 and i thank you all of you uh, thank you very much thank you very much are you are you in touch with the director general of the foreign affairs the biafran republic of nigeria is that Uh, not yet what are you um, okay just okay, okay just hold on uh, um, uh, professor professor joy rodi can you um uh, uh take the mic and uh, uh you know introduce yourself to this brother uh, professor joy rodi is the director general of foreign affair department of the biafra republic of nigeria and of course she is also uh in the Dutchland so uh you can collaborate with her I've also send you a message if for a follow up maybe joy professor joy is not available at this point so I've just send you a message for a follow up so we can I can have a follow up with that information but in case uh, professor joy contact you you accord accord her every attention that you should have accorded to me thank you Thank you sir. Plus good of you sir. Thank you. Thank you Mazi for the and uh, Professor Joy please if you are there just uh, come up and then uh, you got the mic and uh, then I could take it our brother. Thank you. Please the travel vlog. I got a travel vlog from Israel. I saw you before as I was trying to give you the microphone you disappeared. You can come up back and then I will give you the mic. You might have uh, some situation reports for us. And uh Ugo, please grab the mic now. You have to see us. Ugo Chukubia. Yeah, thank you, thank you, I love them. And uh, our list of information, I salute to every one of you. My PM, I salute you. Uh, the prayer as I said. I just want to. I I don't wanna because I have sixty seconds. I I know that everything concerning um, our cousins Israel, you have already put everything in place. But my concern is um, when I was in one space. They were asking me a question what because the water has passed gade in the in one nigeria people side so one of them was asking me they don't care who defend the village in enugu state that was attacked that was uh the Igwe was killed and the terrorists uh, made the uniform from the zoo arrested zoo means nigeria sorry for those that are here arrested all the young men from the village 
and then we are kind of asking what is the measures you may answer direct or indirectly my brother and my pm um what are we doing because there's a plan that the terrorists are coming back again because uh, according to them they say in the afternoon they are there with uniform the five o'clock in the evening they change their uniform to terror to invade the village so please uh yeah what are the measures to make sure we secure people there thank you i think uh, the one nigeria should be the better should be a better place to answer that p2b should be in a better place to give them measures they are taking for those who believe in Biafra, we have our measures to protect the noble people, those of the affected villages. And it's not something that I'm going to answer to them. They should just watch and they hear the news. Thank you. I'm aware of that. I just wanted them to hear from you. Thank you, my brother. Right. Thank, Thank you. But please, but please, next time you are with them, just tell them to consult P2B. You want to hear P2B too, not only me. <laughs> okay, I will do that. Thank you, my Thank you. Brother, yeah. my dear. Thank you. Uh, thank you, PM. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Hugo. Uh, please, I have a, uh, if you want to ask questions, please do raise your hand, please. Biggest Gidi, uh, come up uh, in 60 seconds. Yeah, well, great, PM. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, you have been doing a very great job. In fact, this year, I've seen a lot of good things. I'm from Hot Delta, Qualifist Library. So I really want to thank you because if nobody is coming to tell the people the truth, you are telling the people the truth. If nobody is coming to see that the useless Nigerian government has wasted our life, wasted our resources, wasted the good part of us. In the past um, 15 years, there haven't been electricity. And these people are collecting the oil from our land. If you like look at them anywhere, we say that these people have collected their their oil everywhere, and they move the development. I want to go to other countries and see what else. They do lose, they do lose you because if they are coming longer here, but look at us, look at us, that's the thing, and the picture of you, and the people realize. I think his network is not very good. His network is not good. I was wondering whether I'm the one that is having that network problem. Okay, biggest, I don't know. Your network is not so good. If you can uh, go back and come up again, it might be better. All right, please, those that are in the room, you try and raise your hands, please. We attend to those that raise their hands. I will clear the room if nobody raises their hands after I take dummy. Uh, Dami Akams, please, you have 60 seconds. Dami Akams, can you please unmute yourself? You have 60 seconds to bring your question. Dami. Yeah, good evening, the Prime Minister. Um, thank you very much. Um, we are very much around with you. Uh, we support uh, yeah, what you are doing to be friends. Um, this is, uh, you might, uh, you might decide to answer this question or you might uh, not answer it. Uh, it's just a kind of, uh, internal security. I know exactly the answer, but uh, if it will, you will try to make it very clear to the, to be a France. We have established a police force as well, um, which I knew very much well that, uh, I know the I know the time, uh, the, the time, that's what I, um, as I said, I know the place, I know the answer, but if you can make it more clear that uh, when people are saying that now that the internal security, that uh, due to the, our military are being protected uh, after the military, uh, internal security, the, secur uh, the police force supposed to be helping in, the, in maintaining peace and crimes in, in the, uh, in, uh, internally. Uh, can you explain to them the reason? and uh, when actually that uh, that bring up the police force now might bring might bring a time of internal uh, conflict so thank you prime minister we will continue to support you no matter whatever we have stand uh, and biafra must come now thank you our prime minister 
Thank you very much. Uh, your question was not very clear, but I think I know what you are trying to ask. The point is that the uh, the uh, formation of the Biafra police to maintain the uh, peace and uh, order is on the process. And of course, because of it's on the process and because of the fragile situation we have in our land and the sabotage, we are taking it very, very easy on a very low key. So the uh, Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra Resistance Fighters, the Biafra Defense Force, completely are in charge of the internal security of the Biafra people, the Biafra land at this point. But gradually, we are raising the police force of Biafra state by state, and we are not in a rush because of the complicity of the whole thing. And remember that the enemies are also trying to use every announcement we make to recruit people and use them as sacrifice. Those who want to continue to please the Fulanese that they are actually dealing with Biafra forces, they will recruit people, send them to succumb, and the same people will tell the military where they are, they will go there and kill them. And when they kill them, they will announce that, oh, they have invaded ESN camp, uh, IPOB camp here and there, just to continue to deceive the people paying them money that they are actually fighting against Biafra liberators. So while the Afro Liberation Army remain untouched. And of course, our firepower is increasing every day uh, to sustain the, uh, you know, the aggression of the enemy. So the police is something that is already ongoing. And like I said, it is on the low key. Do not join anything that you are not sure of. That is one thing I have to tell everybody. But we will take this particular uh, formation of the Biafra police state by state on a very, very low key until we come out like bees. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. I appreciate your answer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mazidani. Thank you very much. All right, uh, the next person who stands up is uh, Mazi Citizen Dama. Citizen Dama, grab the mic. All right, uh, good evening, Mr. P. and Sir. Uh, the 2023 saw a lot of um, surprises uh, with the statement by the Nigerian state that uh, an evil man is not fit to be president after it will be won the election, followed by several attacks on evil investment and lies across the country, especially in the southwestern part of Nigeria, where evil businesses and properties were burnt down and destroyed. That made a lot of um, people from the eastern region to have some kind of retrospection into their state in Nigeria as a country. Then the disappointment of the videos and some pro evil um, elements. I was in a space where you are hosted by Otobu TV, Otobu Ogiti, that is uh, where you try to entertain some questions and explanation on the Biafra struggle. Uh, eventually, you left the space because of the uh, misunderstanding or what I cannot understand. So, my question to you directly is now that it seems there seems to be a lot of sympathy towards the Biafran agitation. What steps are you taking to bring in the obedience and the pro evil elements into your struggle? Thank you. Our doors remain open. The step is very simple. We open our doors for those who understand that Nigeria is not for them. And so, we will not uh, allow you to come in and destroy what we have done. So when you come, you must respect the fact that people pay the life, pay with their lives to build the structure of government that you are now proud of today. So you have to talk and wait for your turn. When, if you have convinced us enough that you have something actually to offer, you will be allowed to serve their friends in any capacity. But for now, you must be able to prove to us that you are not coming in hoping that the Biafra government is a political pressure group. 
where you will come and hang yourself and wait for 2017 to 2027. So you will now begin to talk about little bit. No, we will not give opportunity for any political talk or political pressure group in the Biafra government. It is either you are for independence of Biafra or you are out. So our door is open. It, Biafra is not for Simon Epa. Biafra is for everybody who believes that they are Biafrans and those who believe that Nigeria is no longer attainable for them. So it is not, Biafra is not a property of me, of myself. It's not a property of Mazen and Dekanu. It is for everybody. So your freedom is what should be the best, the biggest priority for you. So our doors are open. The approach we are using now is to make sure that everybody is a welcome to the liberation phase. And that starts with your own character, your behavior, and your attitude towards the liberation of Biafra. Not being used as a political tool to attack Simon Ekba and the Biafra government. Not being used as a political tool to claim that Simon Ekba is bringing insecurity. Like I'm happy for one of them that came here to talk about uh, whether we are using violence and everybody knows who is bringing violence. The history of how Nigeria brought violence to Biafra land is there. What we did now is to say that you can't kill us again and we'll pick up arms to defend ourselves. And they turn around to say we are bringing, we are the one who bring violence to the southeast. The, but they have forgotten when they were killing people carrying flag. Not only that they have killed their friends, they also killed those who believe in Nigeria. You lucky to get shooting is still fresh in our brain. They were carrying Nigeria flag. And what people should understand from that single act is that the people who call themselves leaders of Nigeria today are not actually leading Nigeria. They have something else they are fighting for, not about Nigeria. And that's what many people don't understand. And that particular thing they are fighting has manifested. It's called the Islamic State. That is why they will give order. This man who is the president now actually was the one who beheaded the killing of Nigerians in Lake Togate. They were carrying Nigeria flag. They say, I'm going to use a very vulgar word. They say, fuck Nigeria. Kill them. That is what it means. So it is not like they actually like Nigeria. The man who is now the president also said in 1997 that he doesn't believe in Nigeria. So ask him, what did he believe in then? If he doesn't believe in Nigeria and today he's the Nigeria president, what exactly did he believe in? It is nothing else than the Islamic State. But let me also say it that he is not a Nigerian. I have been saying it. He is not from the Niger area. He's not a Yoruba man. I've said it several times. He is from Guinea. This man called Tinubu is from Guinea. Now, the entire Yoruba people will come on social media and shout how who is Tinubu. Well, nobody is summoning courage to investigate. I said it. I have evidence of him being a Guinea man. If they doubt me, they should tell us which is his village. Where is his village in Yoruba land? doesn't have village. He's from Guinea. And he committed crime in Guinea, ran to Nigeria, drug crime, and then he made friends with Babangida, all of them in the military. He became one of their errand drug pushing boys, the drug cartel. Many of you do not understand that through the military rule in Nigeria, it was all about drug pushing. Babangida was the biggest cartel upon in Nigeria history. Many Igbo people, many Igbo people that got rich today were part of the drug syndicate of, of, a, of a IBB. Many people don't know. We have some of them, even in my place, who were the errand drug pushing boy to this military man. They were having free passage at the Moretala Mohammed airport once they pass, nobody check them. They go with cocaine to the United States. That was where uh, this man, Tinubu, was pushing his own cocaine in the United States. People don't ask questions. How did he manage to go to the United States? He is from the help of military. The generals back then, this military you see today, this Babangida you see today, Babangida was the leader of the drug cartel in the entire West Africa. And he came to Nigeria, made friends with them. One of the deal is to cover him. 
they registered him in, a, in Lagos, and that was how Tinubu became a Lagosian. I am telling you the fact. He made them who they are, they made him who he is today. And he became a Lagosian. Through the cartel, he contested and became the, Lag the Lagos uh, governor. Remember that he was once in exile. He ran to exile. The reason for going to exile was because it was not just because of his uh, political opinion. It was an internal problem with his drug cartel, coupled with his uh, uh, political opinion, of course. He went to exile. But before then, he has established himself in Lagos. And people see him as a Lagosian, but he's not a Nigerian. So, my brother, what I'm trying to say is that those people who have repented, who have seen that Obi cannot help them, and when this Obi started, we warned them that Obi is being used just like Dinubu was an errand boy. Obi is the errand boy for Britain. The only work Obi wanted to do is to drag Biafra into the election. We defeated them because 20 million people did not vote. So it's a defeat. He dragged Biafra into the election and you see how they rubbish him. After that, they started attacking Biafra in Lagos. Obi did not issue a statement condemning the attack, including the physical assault and physical attack on Biafra till today, except just a few weeks ago when they started talking about oh, what is happening in Lagos and all that. And today, those people are disappointed. We also warned them that those people from Bini, from Bini, not uh, Bini Biafra, Bini, those criminals who are the Yahoo Yahoo boys in Bini, who do comedies and all that, who are following Obi, they were not following Obi because they like Obi. They were not following Obi because they like Igbo. They were not following Obi because they like Biafra. They were following Obi because they want to follow Obi to distract those who they believe were fighting for Biafra. And immediately Obi fell. You didn't see them again making videos on social media, they disappeared. That is some of them that you see when I come, they say, oh, Obi is coming, Obi is coming. After that, it is, all of them disappear. They begin to abuse Obi. You don't see them again. We want those people following them. Where are they today? They disappeared. One thing is that we see things many people do not see. We see things many people do not see. And today, everything we have said has happened. And we are saying another thing, yet people are doubting it. We are shouting another thing that is yet to happen. People are doubting it. They look down on us. We say we are going to declare the restoration of independence of Biafra in December. They are doubting us. They don't know how to. But the enemies know that we are on the right track. And that's why they are panicking, declaring me wanted, declaring me terrorist. A journalist was asking me two days ago in Finland, how do I feel that I was called a terrorist? I said it was a, you know, I am very, very happy because it shows that now I'm actually working. It is a badge of honor. For me to be called a terrorist by Nigeria military is a badge of honor. It means that I have actually hit them. It means that the Biafra freedom is here. And I begin to give instances of those who, who were called terrorists. They are freedom fighting. Mandela was one of them. Gandhi was one of them. Later on, what happened? They become the icon and legend you see today. So I'm not bothered by what they call me, what the enemy call me. The enemy, the enemy can call me anything in quest to stop me. But what matters is that, do I know what I'm doing? Do I believe in myself? Do I believe in the Biafra? Yes, I do. And that's why I'm about that. Thank you very much. Okay, please. Can I add a follow-up question? Go ahead. All right. Uh, uh, meanwhile, I want to say categorically... Uh, You made allusion to the Nikki massacre of October 20, 2020. I was there as a principal out of the Nikki targets. So everything you say it is very correct. Well, uh, you said something that your hands are wide open and doors are open for obedience and other police and people to come in. I want to find out, you know, uh, in this era of social media, a lot of uh, what happens in our society is being molded on social media by social media influencers. Like when it comes to Twitter, you have some people who are influencers on Twitter who host spaces. So I want to find out from you, are you making plans to have some kind of uh, rapport 
We search people so that uh, they can bring you in in the Twitter space to engage with them, to interact, and to clarify some questions that are actually important some people about the struggle and how they can actually be part of it. Do you have any such plans? Uh, you know, uh, like I said, when I said we are open, including myself, you know that when I appeared on that space you mentioned, I was not invited. Right? I came uninvited. And I was ready to address any question. But you look at what, how, you know, disparaged they are. They were in that, in that particular space. One of the girls there, you know, was uh, insulting herself. So instead of them to engage, you know, in a discussion and engage in more meaningful uh, discussion, it was all about uh, you are killing people, you are doing this in, in the east, people are dying, you are, you know. So they cannot engage. The problem is that the people you are talking about cannot engage in meaningful discussion. They cannot engage in intelligent discussion. It is always how you are killing people, how you are doing this, how you are doing that. And these people are the people who never spoke condemning the Nigeria state massacre, condemning the Nigeria state terrorism against their own people. Like you just hear somebody saying that they killed in any good state. They came with the military, the uh, way of one place has been killed, and they will come back in the evening uh, as a terrorist, uh, you know, without a uniform, and they kill. You can never see the mix of, you know, make comments in condemnation of, of those kind of actions by the Nigerian state. But when I appear on their space, instead of them to have the opportunity to ask me difficult questions and questions that could also liberate them from the mental slavery, you see them saying, you are killing people in the South East. Stop the at home. Stop the at home. They do not understand that something actually led to the at home. That because when we want to protest in the streets, just like you, as a witness in Lake Lake Toge massacre, would you have wouldn't you have preferred sitting at home than going to Lake Toge to risk your life? That is the point. That is the reason we adopt this civil disobedience. Because each time you go to the street, Nigeria security agents, which is known as Nigeria Terrorist Organization by the Biafra government, will shoot you and kill you because they don't value the Nigeria flag. They don't value you as a human, just for rising up and picking up courage to protest that something is wrong, they kill you because it is not about the Nigeria as a nation. It's about some interests they are protecting. And that interest is what is manifested today. Muslim, Muslim ticket, all geared to the Islamic State of Nigeria. So I am ready to always, you know, go to spaces, even uninvited. Like I said, that's when you said you saw me, I was not invited. I just came in there because I saw that they were just being misinformed they are misleading people, and I needed to correct some things. But you see, they were insulting themselves, thinking they're insulting me. So I had to leave. Thank you. Um, uh, Honorable Prime Minister, I believe you know something about a man called Dr. David Masanga. Dr. David Masanga played a major role uh, during the days of uh, Martin Amicano. He's also a very powerful Twitter uh, host. Um, uh, so I don't know, uh, talking about uh, these people that have different divergent uh, views about what you're doing, maybe if there's a way you could um, uh, get across to David, Dr. David Masanga, who was spaces, especially that has to do with uh, Pan-Africa and the freedom of African people, I guess that could be a neutral ground where there will be a very meaningful conversation so that a lot of people want to really join forces with you because it's very clear that Igbos in Nigeria especially are being terribly marginalized as uh, emasculated. So um, Dr. David Masanga could be a very, very uh, uh, reputable platform where we could bring in different opinions and uh, these things can be, you know, uh, 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 properly addressed. I don't know if you can work with them, Dr. David Masanga to get this because Yes, sir. thank you. Thank you very much. As a, as a matter of fact, yes, thank you very much. As a matter of fact, uh, I have been on uh, David Matsanga's uh, platform for a very, very long time. But of course, not on Twitter space or X space. Uh, it was rather on Pan African Conference. Uh, I have been participating uh, in that uh, Pan African uh, Conference and debate. Uh, far back as 2020, but after the kidnap of Mazen and Vicano, the IPOB Nigeria 
attacked him just because he was giving me that platform. They attacked him and uh, accused him of being part of the kidnap of Mazin and the, and the innocent man decided to respect himself and just uh, decide not to talk about Biafra. I think maybe that was the reason. But today, I believe his eye will be very clear that the people who were actually attacking him were those who were put behind the hotel of Martin and Dicano, and they wanted to cut every every uh, every currency, uh, every current that was, uh, you know, uh, coming to see the continued depression of Biafra. They wanted to cut everything off. So today, those who did not see at that time will be able to see now to know who the enemy, uh, you know, who the enemies are. So yes, uh, uh, you will see me in Matanga's uh, platform. I didn't know that he is hosting his Twitter space. Uh, the, so the media team, people can work on that. Uh, we will we'll always be there to address the uh, concerns of everybody. Thank you. 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 If I may look at the Eastern News 24, I see that I had drunk the number. Now, you go to the number. You can't get 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 the and uh, subscribe or turn on your notification kill up miss any of our daily update or there's a bomb on which you go you know what up in this year not gonna be getting with the latest information in the menu you might see as over again uh the course it did as well are they can name mother the car pm and also bonden all the local mazin and the canon bony and doing can do you want to go cover my annoy again it may be not done on Chukwo kabe wage yengi freedom. Ise? 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 Ige wolo wage. Awole fo nyi lopo li megi. Mwake fi ne kube ezo ku. Chukwo kabe masegi kuwa. Ezo ku wana kolom mili. The gospel of chukwo kabe yaba. Yaka wone ezi. Che ki fe ni ino nye ndu kulo. Ke koka kreto. Che ki yo. Che ki yo stok. Ya bi fe ni ina. Bi fe ni mbubo do kita. Chine yifo ana anu ozo. Ano gida sana sine ete. And any five hundred million in cards, and people know not half. And now the Simba, not two hundred and fifty-five million. What is happening? Sometimes now, John the Bayo again, name and I came and I far. I know that's in a neighbor room up two hundred and something Christians to tell you that this country can never be won. Or blue, check here. Or one or all, I guess one on the Biafra liberation and BJ Bugano Makana Nasokoto. I got Boko Fafa now to tell you the country, the bias. Everything is not working, nothing is working. What if an hour all? Everything the paralyze. Only go wago. Check here now. Fine, I'm going to be a zoku. You want to go? Oh, Dora, you will exchange. On your hand, you're over at 750. Now today is sending bo almost one thousand six hundred and fifty eight naira. Imagine, imagine. Ibo bi ibo guna ko ham no no. Kabalo kabalo ke comment ya niya and share ya odempa. Kuli chie more of our blooders and blooders. Kama li fenemi no bodo. Dalulinen unga ke mesia no mi ibo.